guys, this is Comic You Know, and today I'm doing a review for Butterfly Issue 1, which is a new Boom Studios mini-series that intrigued my interest, so that's why I'm reviewing it. But before I start talking about Butterfly, I just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know, Episode 66, and that's a show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show, and here are those comics. We got Pop, Issue 2, Robin Hood, um, Ongoing, Issue 2. Cartoon Network Super Secret Crisis War, issue 4. Batman Eternal, issue 25. Outcast, issue 4. And Sinestro Futures End, issue 1, which I also have an in-depth review for this on Comic Frontline, so be sure to check that out. Uh, also, other updates. Check out the update video. It actually pertains to comic book reviews for the next two weeks. There's a little bit format change just for those next two weeks. So please be sure to check out the update video. Also, another link I want to share is that I have two Like Father, Like Daughter contests. One, check out the update video. The other one, you can win a DVD set, so be sure to uh, check out all those videos. But let's talk about Butterfly Issue 1. Now, this is a Boom Studios miniseries. I picked this up because the summary intrigued me. Um, we had um, Margaret Bennett, who's going to be working on Batgirl, and who did the Lois Lane one-shot, which I really enjoyed uh, working on the title. So I was like, let me give this a try. And uh, again, story intrigued me. Now, what is the story about? It's about this girl who, or, you know, this woman who who is a CIA, a CIA agent, but not anymore. She's now just an agent, doesn't even have a name. Her name's Butterfly, sometimes people call her. And she, she looks back at how her father taught her how to shoot, and the father passed away really quickly. Now, we don't really know how she became an agent, and how she became, became so cold, but it happened, and by the end of the issue, we find out that the father's still alive and has also had his own past life that's kind of connected to the daughter's life. So, very much like Alias. <laughs> uh, so, what did I think about this issue? I, I liked it. You know, I think there is potential with it. I, I expected to like it a little bit more, though, because I thought the, the summary sounded a little bit more intriguing than, than the narration in the story. Um, the narration for this issue is very robotic. Um, I didn't really connect with either of these characters, really. Uh, I was like, oh, well, how did she become so cold? We really don't know. I think if they showed that throughout the issue instead of the father's background, we could have connected to the character a little bit more, and that was a big problem with this issue. But it also intrigued me, because I was like, oh, well, how is this interaction between the father and daughter going to work out? So there are stuff that really does intrigue me. The coloring, I thought, was great for this series. Uh, I don't know about the art. It was a little bit blocky, but I think the coloring kind of made up for it. If it was a different style of coloring, I don't think I would like it as much, but it was a little bit blocky here. Uh, but overall, I think there is potential for this title. Again, I, I did like the characters and at least the potential of the characters. I do think they're a little robotic, but there is potential there. And I thought the cliffhanger was kind of interesting, and I want to see the alias vibe that we might get with this series. So I'm going to at least give issue two a try and see where it goes. I'm going to give it a generous three and a half, because I do think there is a lot of potential here. But I, I wish I could give this higher, because I, I wanted to really like this title. I expected this to be my top five after hearing the summary, but uh, it just didn't. Um, have enough for me. So hope you guys enjoyed though. This is Comic Uno and don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Ryan Situations. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below there's links for my comic book Like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter and I'll see you guys later. Bye.